What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how to remove the TDL4 Purpolase uh, bootkit virus. It's a variant of Allurian and we're going to be using uh, TDSS killer from Kaspersky to remove it. Now, as you can see down in the bottom right hand corner here we've got something saying fail to connect to Windows service and uh, this is probably to do with this uh, nasty bootkit. So what we want to do is uh, remove this from the system uh, by using this tool. We're going to take a look at the actual ASW MBR. When you run this you'll see it visible in action. Uh, what I'm going to do is quickly scan here and show you. It will flag it up. It will show it all up in red. As you can see disk 0 MBR and you can see uh, what it's done here. It's a nasty uh, infection and we're going to remove this from the system. Just going to quickly exit out of this. We're going to be using uh, Kaspersky for this one. Now what you want to do here is uh, just run this one. Don't try and use any other tools unless it's a special tool for this particular type of infection. I'm going to quickly run a scan here. Now you may get redirects and all sorts of problems if you don't remove it. And uh, Just run this scan here. You can see it's now found the culprit. This is the actual culprit here. And uh, we're going to leave this on cure, okay, because this is what we want to do. We want to cure the file, and you can see it's created a device hard disk uh, DR0, and this will help remove that from the system. Okay, now this caused people a lot of problems uh, a few, um, about a month or so back, and uh, but this tool now does help you remove this. So what we're going to do is click continue here. It's going to say you need to reboot the system. Uh, we're going to reboot this and then it will finish off the removal process once it's rebooted the system. Now you can see it's got 12 objects it's quarantined. So uh, let's click on reboot. Okay, we just let this load in. Okay, so it will hang at the welcome screen a bit for a while, but then this window will pop up. Now this is quite normal, this is Kaspersky, and this is going to help remove the final part of this uh, bootkit. So we're going to say run here. It's going to finish that process off for us. And you can see it's now done. Now this tool is also good at removing SST, and uh, zero access and all these other types of nasty uh, bootkits and rootkits on the system okay so I'm going to click scan again we're just going to quickly check here should be all clean now now there will be other remnants left behind from this uh, actual bootkit so I'm going to quickly uh, hit Hitman Pro it and uh, remove it with this Okay, there you can see some other stuff on the system that is now picking up in the temp folder. And this is all related to that rootkit. So we're going to remove all the rest of this off with uh, Hitman Pro. You can see some stuff in System32 here as well. This is all related to the same infection. It's going to delete those and these all could be uh, quarantined and then we'll remove these afterwards and as you can see it's saying rootkit here you can see it so what we're going to do here is go next then next again and then we need to do a reboot and hitman pro probably remove all the rest of that on its reboot so let's uh, reboot now Okay, this is where Hitman Pro is going to probably just remove anything else that's left behind if it needs to do that. Okay. 
So we're just going to give this one more blast with Hitman Pro just to make sure everything is now finished and gone from the system. And while that scan's running, what I'm going to do is have a look inside the C root directory here, and you'll see some uh, log files here. And this this is the actual log file from uh, TDSS Killer, and you can see the actual information here, what it's done. Okay. This isn't the only way of removing it, it's just an, one way of removing this type of infection. It's always handy to keep your log files, and there you can see your quarantine file, or folder I should say, and there you go. So we could even delete all that stuff from there if we wanted to, just like so. That's now cleaned out. And Hitman Pro has come up with no more threats. And that one is dealt with. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button. Also rate and favourite me videos if you enjoyed them. And if you've got any other requests for videos, then please send me a message and I'll do my best to make that video for you. And again, thanks for watching and thanks for your support. Bye for now.